Hi, I'm Hub Arkish for ChicagoSunTimes.com here with our weekly review of the Bears game this past Sunday. This time a 20 to 14 loss to the Detroit Lions. It was the Jimmy Clausen show, which turns out to be one of the shortest running shows in history. We'll talk about that in a moment. The insertion of the former Notre Dame quarterback for Jay Cutler did nothing to help the Bears offense. They were outgained by the Detroit Lions 357 to 234. And in fact, had the Bears not been gifted a muffed punt by Lions punt returner Jeremy Ross at his own 11 yard line and then a very questionable roughing the kicker call against the Lions at the Bears 39. The Bears would not have scored. They would have been shut out and held under 200 yards of offense. Now that say Clawson didn't play badly. He was okay. He just was no better than Jay Cutler and obviously doesn't have the arm and the ability to make the big plays that Cutler did. Unfortunately, he was also injured in the game, suffered a concussion. The symptoms did not arise until later that evening, so he finished the game against the Lions but will not be able to go this Sunday in the Bears finale. Getting back to the game, though, a few performances that were noteworthy. The Bears defensive line played well, particularly Jared Allen, Jeremiah Ratliff, Stephen Paya. They came to play. They rushed Matt Stafford all day long, sacked him four times. And Stafford in particular was pretty bad. That's one of the reasons the Bears were even in the football game. Don't want to take credit away from them. But if Matt Stafford doesn't play better, it'll be a very short playoff run for the Detroit Lions. They're not our story, though. The Chicago Bears are. In addition to the veteran defensive linemen, two of the young linebackers, John Bostic, Christian Jones, played very well. And offensively, credit to Roberto Garza and Jermon Bushra. Ryan Groy steps in at one guard, Michael Ola at the others. They were okay, but they had the veteran center and veteran tackle watching their backs all day long. So the Bears very competitive in what could have been a difficult situation. Again, the poor play of the Lions helped. The one thing they could not get done was get the running game on track. Hurt Jimmy Clausen the same way it's hurt Jay Cutler. They did try. They ran the ball 22 times, only 59 yards for Matt Forte. They averaged under three yards per carry. Perhaps one of the real flaws in the offense of Mark Trestman that's the bigger problem than necessarily who is at quarterback. There were some disappointing performances as well. Brock Vereen really struggled at safety, particularly with his tackling. Alshon Jeffrey, well, he had a touchdown catch, but he also dropped a number of passes, was targeted 15 times, caught only six. Marquise Wilson, a short area receiver. At the end of the day, the Bears passing game averaged under five yards per attempt. You cannot win in the NFL that way. As I've said, now you've got Jimmy Clausen down with the concussion. Talk to Mark Tressman on Monday. He said David Fales doesn't get a shot. It's back to Jay Cutler as we get ready for the Bears finale of the 2014 season. For some, it can't come soon enough. It'll be at Minnesota Sunday at noon. For ChicagoSunTimes.com, I'm Hub Arkish. And for the best sports, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, stay right here.